This time on That Bus Show. We're coming up on Halloween. Halloween episode. Let's go to the Palace Theater and let's film and see if we can find any ghosts. Did a light go up? <laughs> How about that? I said it earlier. We had a group from California in here filming and um, we were upstairs, which we'll go up there in a minute, in the old projector room. We might. That light for real was blinking. It's, I, that second one. See, sometimes they don't like us doing stuff like this. Welcome to All Access Coach Leasing. Based outside of Nashville, they provide custom coach transportation to some of entertainment's hottest acts. But there's more to running a successful bus business than providing the comforts of home on the road and piling up the miles. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna boost our YouTube views, we're gonna boost our Facebook views, and the way that we're gonna do that is we're going to- Give away a car. <laughs> well, that would definitely help. Huh. Your, your car? No, that's not it. That's okay. not it, watch away, sorry. So, so uh, it's, we're coming up on Halloween, Halloween episode. Let's go to the Palace Theater and let's film and see if we can find any ghosts. Because, And then we'll put like, Ghost stuff in the title, and then as people are searching for that, that's that's one way we can boost our views on YouTube. And are so we let's go. Yeah, like let's go find some ghosts at the Palace Theater. Apparently, it's haunted. So I guess we're going to the Palace Theater, but I'm confused on why we're going. Um, we're ghost hunting, I think. So we're heading over to the Palace Theater. We're gonna check and see if it's haunted. Uh, the stories are that there are ghosts that hang out there and I think it'd be good for ratings and give us some more exposure to an audience that we're not currently tapping into. It'd be a lot of fun to actually see something move or some ghost there. It'd be fun to see if we can maybe even scare Eric a little bit. That might be a kind of interesting take on this. Yeah, I, I really think you could probably, uh, what, what do you call it? Call them up? Con call, conjure call them? Conjugal? Is that what you said? That's not what I said. Oh. I'm sorry, I caught that on my paraffine vision. I wasn't sure. What are we going Conjure. to do? Conjure up. Yeah. Conjure, Conjure up. up. Okay. Yeah. Jason really thinks there's ghosts at the Palace Theater. I'm a little skeptical. But hey, I'll go along for the ride until things get a little weird and then I'm out. I really don't think there's any ghosts at the Palace Theater. I've been there before. I'm willing to go today because it's, you know, a slow day at work, so we might as well go check it out. Um, I'm anxious to go to the Palace Theater and see if there's any ghosts. I don't think there is, but maybe there is and maybe I'll meet a new friend. I don't know. Donna Belote's over there. She's the uh, Palace Theater director and she said that she would be happy to kind of host us and give us a tour there. So, wow. Anyway, just check do ghosts. renovations and I've heard that when you do that, um, that it kind of disturbs the peace. Mm. Huh. Mm -hmm. All right. That's understandable. Right. Well, let's go. Right, let's go before it gets dark. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. All right. All right. So, Jason, this was your idea. So, what are we? What are we doing here today? So, we just wanted. Thanks for meeting with us, Don, and mm -hmm. opening the theater up for Loved us. Loved having you. Uh, can you kind of walk us through some of the the lore? Of, tell us about where we might find a ghost. Well, in, no, in I want to I want to find out a little history of the building though first. When when, when was this opened or is there built? Nineteen thirteen. This right. building in here was eighteen eighty seven. Well, opened for a hundred years. He closed it in nineteen eighty seven. Ten years after he closed the palace in nineteen seventy seven. What was this building? This was Roth Jewelry Store. Okay. So the family owned it. From when to when? 19, the theater from 1913 till 1977. And they closed? And they closed. And then they, did they sell it or did the city? The, no, no, the city, um, it went into Mr. Roth Jr.'s estate auction. Okay. No heirs. 
Sonny and Johnny Garrett purchased it for $20,000, both of these buildings. From what I understand, it was slated for demolition. Literally, the roofs had fallen in, as had the floor, um, because they'd been closed, you know, 20 years, every bit of 20 years, unoccupied. Wow. Okay, Greater Gallatin, which is who owns them and who I'm, I'm employed by, um, approached them and said, donate them. We can write grants um, and we can bring them back to their original thing. See, I told you. Just like that. Did a light go up? <laughs> How about that? Yeah, I said it earlier. But it, um, anyways, they gave them to Mr. us. Mr. Spirit, if you can hear me, <laughs> please turn that light back on when I clap. People don't listen to me. People don't listen to me. When you feel yeah. like when you feel like it, just turn the light back on. Okay. Yeah, you're doing it. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Any whistles all day long. Anyways, um, they were donated to us. They took the tax right off. We <laughs> part of the agreement was we write grants and we raise enough money to bring it back to what they were, which was this was not an office, but the theater was a you know an old movie theater, mm -hmm. and it only for movies. I wasn't time. really familiar with all that. So that's, uh, that's, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, good. Who's that? So, it's a cleaning lady. Oh. It's a cleaning lady. If you're a cleaning lady, please come in the room <laughs> and turn the light on. Are you conjuring cleaning people now? Conjure we could use some. Of them. A spirit. You scared us to death. Hi. Hi. You scared us. Come on. Yeah. In. yeah. These lights keep going off. We're calling these ghosts in and stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> But that noise, um, that noise scared me. I'm just gonna be honest. With you. I knew what it was. Yeah. I knew they were yeah. coming in the back door. But um, you know what that smell is now. <laughs> <laughs> so, any more spirits out here that you? Um, there has not been. Let me think. Wait a minute. Let me think. No. Now in the bathrooms there have been. We've had issues, and we had um, a cleaning company that came in every Thursday at, at one o'clock, and they cleaned, they sanitized our bathrooms. For years, this is when we were really rocking and rolling before NCG came in. Um, and then one day I heard him, I was in my office, he came in, he greeted me, he came, immediately came over here with this little container he had full of stuff. And I heard him in the bathroom, in the men's bathroom, which is right by my desk. I heard him in there banging around and it stopped. And then it was like one of those things where it stopped so quick, it was like, is he okay? And then I heard him like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and then he came over from my office. He said, who's in that theater? And it was like, nobody. I mean, there's nobody over there. And there wasn't. And he said, well, I'm leaving and I'm not coming back because somebody's in that lady's bathroom because the toilet's flush and the water came on. And I kind of just chuckled, but he left and he, I, he's never been back. Wow. I mean, never has he been back. So whatever spooked him really spooked him. You know, I got to tell you the stories too about I shouldn't say his name, but he was, um, did you know I shouldn't say his name. Again. <laughs> Sorry. Beat that one too. He is the only person the spirit in here has not liked. And he literally, everything was negative. Every time this man ran into it, ran into the spirit, it was negative. And he pushed him and he slung um, clipboards. Somebody in that bathroom? <laughs> it's the water. But there was, there, it's the only time it's been a negative. Then probably the third movie in, it was Perfect Storm, when Perfect Storm was first released. We had it, when it was released, my husband was doing the projector. At the time it was 35 millimeter. And he was looking, we'll go up there and see it in a minute. He was looking through the projector window as he, down at the screen as he was adjusting it, just like you would imagine somebody doing. Adjusting the focus, looking at the screen. And he came downstairs and he said, Mr. Ross on that balcony. I saw him. I saw him. He's up there. He had his hat on. I could see him smoking, which Mr. Ross smoked. I could see him smoking. He's up on that balcony. So now we're in... The, the actual theater space. You're in the actual auditorium. Auditorium. Mm -hmm. Tell us some of the crazy things that have happened. We have had, an, and there's been a several things. There was one time, and this was me personally, it happened to. So I know it happened. We had a group from California in here filming. And um, we were upstairs, which we'll go up there in a minute, in the old projector room. We might. Not like for real, was blinking. 
That second one. See, the, sometimes they don't like us doing stuff like this. Okay, so. But so that's California. okay. Okay, California was upstairs with me. We okay. were filming. This doctor on the stage had been up. All right, I noticed that because it, when it goes up, I have to get a ladder to bring it down. Okay. So I noticed right away that it got all the way up. And I kind of let it go because California was here filming. Upstairs talking, and all of a sudden, there is, we are looking out that window, upstairs in the ticket booth, there was a literally um, shaky boom. Like, it wasn't a boom. It was a boom. Eric? Yeah, and what? <laughs> it was a boom. <laughs> and I couldn't. I knew immediately what it was, and I leaned forward, and the door was down. Okay. My first thought was, this is seconds. The merchants are playing a trick on me. They all, they all knew that these people from California were here. Then I heard the latches latch, and this was metal hitting metal. So I looked at the producer and I said, I'm going back to my office because you guys are leaving Monday or Sunday. I'm going to be here by myself. And obviously something isn't going well with these guys because this door, I was here, it happened to me. Boom! And they latched shut. So it was like, okay, I'm out of here. And then there was another time we had a guy in here put a movie together. And, um, a ghost? No, it wasn't a ghost. It was in the middle of the night. He put a 35 millimeter movie together and I made him sit and watch it to make sure he put it together correctly. And he called me and said, I'm out. I'm done. And I said, is the movie okay? And he said, I don't know. I turned it off. And I said, you can't do that. What happened? He was sitting in the middle watching the movie and somebody rolled what he thought was gobstoppers down the floor. All right, he said, I sat there, Donna, and it was, it was a box of gobstoppers that got rolled down the seats. And I said, come on, Rodney. And he said, I got up, I turned the lights on, and there were gobstoppers down there. And he was locked in here by himself. So he said, I'm out. He went upstairs and turned the projector off and said, I'm out. I'm done. Do you want to go yeah. upstairs? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Let's go. And you said that reluctantly. Not very, not very bad. You said that very reluctantly. Have you ever been upstairs? No. Okay. Have you? Uh, yeah. Is there anything that happens up here that, that there, you They say there is. I have never. Now, this is where my husband saw Mr. Roth. Okay. My husband has also been up here working and it's felt footsteps, which you can, you can move yeah. this. He has been working up here and has felt, has felt people up here. But as far as anything happening, no. Uh, -uh. not up here. Mr. Roth was standing when we saw him. Where was he standing? <laughs> you, you don't want to go after that. You don't want to go after that. You probably don't want to go after that. <laughs> no, you just want to look. Yeah. This is where he was standing? Yeah, he was standing right over here. Uh -huh. Do you know what she, what she was saying, what she meant? Where was he standing? <laughs> you she don't want to go after that, right over the edge. <laughs> okay. you, don't, you probably don't want to go after that. <laughs> no, you just want to look. Yeah. This is where he was standing? Yeah, he was standing right over here. <laughs> you she don't want to go after that, right okay. over the edge. <laughs> okay. you, don't, you probably don't want to go after that. <laughs> no, you just want to look. Yeah. This is where he was standing? Yeah, he was standing right over here.
but yeah, I, I'll take you. I'll show you. We have to show you the bathroom. I'll show you the, the <laughs> basement. Stuff. Thanks. The basement. The basement. Yeah. Uh, It'd be kind of cool to see that too. I will show you. See, there's a ghost I talk about. It's a spirit. It's not a ghost. That's Mr. It's a Roth. Spirit. It's Mr. Roth. The chili. Oh. <laughs> 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 